Hi and welcome to the very first episode of M&A Ambassadors. We are launching today the USP, the Ultimate Sales Professional. Now one of the questions that I do get a lot and I think it would be the perfect one with which to start is a broker coming up to me and saying what should I focus on, what should I do so that I become successful and that I'm seen as professional and I can give the best level of service. And I think that's a great question to, to deal with in our first session. Now. I believe this is not just of interest to the broker. I think all of you who are directors and managers of broker teams, as well as leadership in brokerage companies should pay attention to these. So I'm going to keep it simple so that it will be easy for all of us to remember. There's five areas that you should be focusing on if you want to become a successful broker. And it's as simple as A, B, C, D and E. So let's get straight into this. The A stands for the attitude. Check your attitude. Now, what is attitude? Attitude can be defined as your approach to a particular situation, a person, a challenge or a task. So it's how you will think in that situation, how you will feel about that situation and how you will choose to act in that situation. So a combination of these three, how you think, feel and act with a person in a situation is your attitude. Attitude is also reflected in your personal presentation, how much time you invest in making sure that you come across as a confident, knowledgeable broker who's got that sense of control in everything that they do. And I believe this comes a lot from how you respect and view yourself. So attitude is the first thing that you should take into account. For directors, I think when you recruit people, check for attitude. Everything else, product knowledge, training skills, behavior can be developed, but check for attitude. Uh, Victor Antonio, who is the number one sales coach and trainer in the US, said this, upgrade your attitude or downgrade your expectations. And I'm going to repeat that one because I think there's a lot that he said in that little quote. Upgrade your attitude or downgrade your expectations. So the first thing that you want to focus on as a new broker is your attitude. Check your attitude and see how positive, open, willing to learn you are because you're going to need it in this industry. Now the second is belief. Now belief again is in a few different things. The first is the belief in yourself. Have faith in who you are. Have confidence in yourself. Every successful broker in the market today didn't start that way. They came in and felt exactly the way you feel today. But they had the belief in themselves, in their abilities, and today they are successful. So you need to first believe in yourself, that you're a smart person, you can learn, you have the right intent and you want to add value. And if you can believe that you have got the competence to do this, you're already on your way to success. The belief is not just in yourself, the belief is also in the agency that you work in in the product that you're representing, in the industry that you operate in, and in Dubai as a city. All of these tie in to giving one great real estate experience to your buyers and sellers. You live in one of the best cities in the world. You are working in one of the most attractive real estate markets in the world. We've got developers and communities that have built a legacy over the last 23 years. Everything is going your way. All you need to do is believe in yourself, believe in the opportunity and you're going to make it big. Now the third thing that you need to focus on is competence. Competence is your skill and ability to execute the tasks that you have to. There is the knowledge competence which is an awareness of your industry trends, what's happening in global markets, how is real estate at this moment performing in Dubai. Knowledge also includes the demographics of Dubai, the geography of Dubai, the waterfront communities, city, urban, commercial lifestyles, contemporary lifestyles, as well as the desert communities. And of course, we have Dubai South as well. So it's about understanding the communities, the personality of the communities, how these communities perform and attract which kind of buyers and sellers to it. You should understand the legacy of the developers, the personality of the developers and what's unique about each and every product that they bring into the market. Knowledge and competence also goes about understanding the selling structures that you have to use, which are the most effective ones to ensure that every real estate transaction in Dubai is a win-win for everyone. 
Knowledge also includes understanding the regulations, the government laws governing real estate, how does escrow operate, the role of RERA, the land department, the Dubai real estate codes, which forms have to be filled, how transfers are done. So a lot of the regulation and registrations around real estate transactions. And then part of competence is the skill and the behavior. How do you approach people, the interdynamic of communication? How do you understand and uncover needs, present solutions the most effective way? Essentially, your selling skills. So that's the third area that you would want to focus on. And during these episodes going forward, we will focus on many of these areas and give you some quick tips and guidance to move ahead. The fourth one, and in my view, one of the most critical is discipline. Discipline is going to be the foundation or the bedrock on which you will launch your real estate career. It is impossible for people who cannot respect time, cannot respect themselves, cannot respect the processes that they have to be following to be expecting great results in what they do. Discipline is your ability to show up on time, every time to be in the offices, to do the tasks that are requested from you, to manage your daily KPIs and your activities. You shouldn't have somebody babysit you in this business. You are an entrepreneur in the making. The degree of discipline that you will demonstrate will reflect the degree of success that you have. A broker who calls in and says, I'm going to work from home today. I don't need to come into the office because I'm not on a salary is not going to go very far. Because if you're in bed at 10.30 in the morning, you're still in your pajamas, you've got your pet cat next to you and you're on your laptop, I don't believe you're going to be serious with a buyer or a seller. You have too much to distract you when you are not willing to get out of bed and be in office on time. Discipline is also the habits that you will create for yourself, which are what I call pay time habits that will convert into the money in real estate. It's aligning to the vision of the company. It is working with your directors and managers to meet the team goals, the company goals, and equally important, your own personal goals. So focus on building discipline. And the fifth one is evaluation and review. Every good broker, in fact, every good business person is always asking themselves this question, how can I perform better? How did I perform today? They carry out evaluations on their own personal effectiveness. So at the end of the day, if you're driving home, you've made a few calls, you've organized a few meetings. How do you know you were effective enough on that day? How do you know that the calls that you made, that the emails that you sent out, the presentations that you did, the viewings that you conducted, how did you know that they created the impact that you wanted to create? So evaluation and review is looking inwards, looking into yourself, looking into your daily plan, checking how much you're on track, monitoring your KPIs, sitting with your managers, seeking their guidance in this so that you can always play this game at the next level. Don't forget you operate in one of the best cities in the world and as a result, you need to be one of the best so we can give everyone a real estate red carpet experience. So these are the five areas I would like you as a new broker to focus on. Your attitude towards yourself and everything that you do. Your belief in yourself, this city, the industry and its opportunities. Competence, which is the skill level that you have. The behavioral mastery and the selling skills that you can demonstrate. The discipline in yourself, developing the pay time habits, showing up on time every time and monitoring and managing your KPIs. And then comes the evaluation, checking at the end of every single day, how effective were you in your daily performance? Take care of these five areas and you are on your way to becoming a very successful broker in the city of Dubai. Now, in the coming episodes, we will touch on each of these five areas and share with you some tips and some real life examples of brokers who made it big because they honored the golden five. Your attitude, your belief, your competence, discipline and evaluation. Thank you for joining us on this episode and I'll see you in the next one on your way to becoming the ultimate sales professional. Thank you for joining us on M&A Ambassadors.